forming groups of like-minded people has been going on in human civilization since time immemorial. From sport, martial art, religion and even gaming. It has forever been a way for people to socialise and interact regardless of age or social inclination. This holds especially true for those with a passion for hobbies that aren't exactly mainstream or common. Gaming is almost seen as an unsocial personal experience. Most are single player or can be, and the stereotypes of gamers are rampant over the internet and social wavelengths. But this isn't necessarily the case, with many games needing multiple people to fully enjoy. This has led to clans forming in online games so that multiple people can enjoy each other's company, even over the web. For those who enjoy tabletop gaming, card games and uh, role playing from both imaginary and live action, gaming clubs are havens. Places they can find others who enjoy their hobbies just as much as they do and even learn off other ones that they might not have even heard of before. I'm here at Livingston's League of Gamers uh, just to find out uh, how these gaming clubs work and get some of the gamers' opinions. We just managed to catch one of the patrons of the club, Paul, after just finished a hot blooded game. Paul, do you come to the club often? Yes, I come up to week whenever I can manage it. It's fun to be here so we try and make an effort after week to come. Awesome. Uh, also, what does the club mean to you? It's something to do every Saturday. It's a way to get out of the house and stop the games. Socialise at the same time. It's a club in front of us. I get to talk to people and play role playing games or play whatever I want. Fantastic. Thanks for speaking to us, Paul. Thank you. We're here with Wayne Duff, president of the Livingston League of Gamers Club. And we're just going to ask him a few questions about well, the club and what he thinks it means to other people. So Wayne, why do you think gaming clubs are important? To me, gaming clubs are important because people sit in the house, they play computer games, they don't really interact with anyone else. A gaming club allows you to go out, play a game with friends who have got a like-minded interest in that hobby. I see, um, and... How do you think the people that go there have changed over the year? Have you noticed anything? Some of the, the younger members, they were very Im immature and childish, for want of a better word. But they've grown to enjoy the game and interacting with the other people at the club. They tend to be more friendly and more open than what they used to be. Thanks a lot, Wayne. It's all great fun and games. Everyone enjoying themselves in a flurry of dice rolling and storytelling. The hobbies might not be mainstream or common, but deep clubs like this really bring everyone together so they can enjoy the hobbies as a group.